Okay, this is pretty amazing. A couple of days ago, or three days ago, there was a swarm from one of my hives. Um, the primary queen uh, took off with a swarm. I caught that swarm and I removed the queen and those bees went back into their hive again. And now they've swarmed again. Second swarm out of the hive. This would be... These are, these are the virgin queens that were raised by the hive and um, they, they've swarmed with more bees now. But this is the really amazing thing about this swarm, something I've never seen before, okay? So you can see one swarm up here on the trunk of this tree. Now we go around to the other side of the tree. Right, this is still the big swarm, the swarm up in the trunk. Down here, hanging off this branch, we have another swarm. And then just below that, we have a third swarm. Three swarms in one tree. I've never seen anything like this before. Um, and it just goes to show that bees can teach you something new every day. So this is a bit of a headache for me, but I have a plan for dealing with it. It's a trunk swarm and this large one. And then there's a slightly smaller one down here as well. Now each of these swarms has at least one queen with each of them. I'm going to try to get them all into one box and see if I can deal with them that way. It might be easier than trying to deal with three separate swarms in three separate boxes. Um, big headache for me, but uh, an opportunity to make um, this interesting video and maybe uh, pass on a bit of knowledge or a bit of experience to other people. Okay, I'm gonna, not going to film all of this because it's going to be too much of a headache for me and uh, it's probably going to get a bit messy and I don't have a cameraman with me, a camera person with me. So, i got to do this solo. Okay, wish me luck. I'm back with these three swarms in the tree again. Um, so I, I've estimated that I can kind of film some pieces of this and I'd like to do that. Um, so my, my plan is to unite the tree swarms into one big swarm and then put them into the box because that seems like the only way I can get three swarms into one box. Uh, I can't shake them in on top of each other after they, uh, when they're not united. So um, these are my tools. I have a water sprayer here up on my ladder. I have a queen clip. I have this old um, brush and I'm going to use this brush to collect bunches of bees from the swarm first of all now I've sprayed all of these bees with I sprayed all of the swarms with a misting of water to discourage them from flying so that might buy me a little bit more time and make the whole process a lot less messy so if you watch this swarm closely you might see a few drones in it which is an indicator that it's a virgin swarm the drones will be following the swarm to uh, hopefully out there hoping that they'll mate with the queen so I'm just looking through this little bunch of bees here. If I see a queen here, I'll be dropping the camera and trying to catch her in the queen clip down here. And there's no obvious queen. She could well be in here, but I, I want to start uh, collecting them as quickly as I can. Um, I don't see one here. Virgin queens are very difficult to identify. They look a lot like a worker. They're about the same size as a worker. Just a slightly different shape. Okay, so I don't see one here. Um, so I'm going to shake off. You might see the drone there on the end. Oh no, that's not a drone, sorry. Um, I'm going to shake these bees off now and I'm going to shake them down so that they kind of go airborne in between the other two swarms and hopefully they'll join one of those. Hopefully, we can catch this on the film. Okay, so. That's the brush cleaned off. Uh, we'll go get another bunch of them. This brush works quite well because it gives them a lot of stuff to grab onto. Um, if you were to use a lighter brush, quite a lot of them might fall, like some of those just did. But okay, at least I got a bunch of them.
I have kind of from I've done a few scoops of these already and I kind of got a sense of where the queen might be in the swarm because the bees were running away from the brush and all heading towards one particular spot so I think that she might be under that branch that I was just beside there a minute ago but I won't know for sure until I actually find her if I find her okay so no joy with this bunch I'm gonna shake these off again so that they go airborne in between the other two swarms and I need to concentrate on this a bit more at the moment so I'm going to stop filming again here back with the triple swarm again so I got most of these bees up on top I got most of them taken down and they sort of joined up with these ones or else they flew back to the hive they, they're not going back up there anyway I smoked the area as well so that left me with two swarms down at the bottom and what I've done here is I use some string to tie up the bottom one so that it comes up and touches the it was the middle one I guess um, so now the two of them are side by side and there's bees transferring between them so I'm hoping that if I keep them sprayed with water they'll stay here for a little bit longer and become one swarm they're going to start clipping away branches that they're not using now um, so that I can get better access to them and get uh, a box in underneath them and collect them. So that's the update. I need both hands for what I'm doing so I can't keep filming the whole process unfortunately. Okay, it's going well so far. I got those two bottom clumps united and dropped them into this box and they seem to be liking it. Um, there's about 2,000 bees, maybe 3,000 bees left up on top of the, uh, maybe 2,000 I'd say, on the trunk of the tree there. I'm gonna, they're all soaking wet and they're not going to fly anywhere, so I'll deal with those in a while. But for the meantime, um, I'm doing quite well here. Just give you a look at the size of this swarm. I just hope this box is going to be big enough for them. I don't know if the camera is focusing properly on this. I can't actually see anything on the camera because the sunlight is um, too bright. Anyway, that's what's going on right now. Okay, I got them. Um, I lifted out a couple of the frames to get a, another clump down to the bottom and they're all festooning on the wax and starting to build new comb and repair the broken comb that's in there so and, and there's all these ones here are using their nesanov glands to call their sisters and there's about maybe a thousand left in the, in the main trunk of the tree up at the top uh, but they seem to be kind of flighty and i think they're going to join these ones shortly and either way if they do take off as a separate swarm Tells the bees is really a viable colony. So, job done.